Hi, this is Kanaya, and today we're going to talk about how to deal with entitled people. So, people in this world act so entitled, and they think the world owes them something. So, today we're going to walk through with how to deal with entitled people. So, have you ever crossed paths with someone who acts everything should be handled to them on a civil platter? You know, the kind of person who thinks the rules don't apply to them. Expect the best seats, the biggest slice of cake, and and all your attention just like that. Navigating interactions with entitled individuals can be tricky. It's a delicate balance between maintaining personal peace and standing your ground. In this article, we'll walk through practical steps to handle these challenging situations with grace. Ready to discover how you can keep your cool and set things right? Read on. How to recognize entitled people. Entitled individuals often have a distant pattern of behavior that can become apparent in various settings, from personal relationship to professional environments. Let's look at some telltale signs in relationship and love. Entitlement in romantic partnership can manifest in several concerning ways. Keep an eye for Keep an eye out for a partner who consistently demands your time and attention without regard for your personal space or needs. Expectations with special treatment without reprecation. They might insist on only doing what interests them. A tendency to blame you for problems without acceptance for personal responsibilities or considering your feelings. That part I don't like at all. Families and friends. Familial ties and friendships are not immune to entitled behaviors, which include a family members who always insist on having things their way during gatherings or discussion. Friends who regularly expect you to cancel plans or go out of your way for them without returning the flavor. And an inability to recognize and appreciate when you make sacrifices or compromises, taking your efforts for granted. Career and work environment. In the workplace, entitled colleagues or bosses pose unique challenges with behaviors such as co-worker, such as co-workers who neglect their duties, peeling their work onto others while taking credit for successes. A manager who demands unrealistic results without providing an adequate resor- support or resources. Employees who believe their positions entitles them to privilege that aren't part of the company cultures to policy. Now that we've identified the telltale signs of entitlement in different areas of our life, it's time to roll up our sleeves. It's time to roll up our sleeves. Let's move beyond recognition and look at effective strategies to handle these situations. Establish clear boundaries. I bet you've heard about sen- setting boundaries a hundred times. But when it comes to dealing with entitled entitled people, it's more it's more than just a catchphrase. It's it's your saving it's your saving grace. You see, you see, entitled people often assume they can do or say anything without repercussion repercussions. So when you draw a line in the sand. You're not being mean. You're just saying, hey, let's keep things respectful here. Be clear about what is and isn't acceptable in your interactions. And communicate your boundaries calmly but firmly.
Now, I know this can be tough. For example, you're dealing with a colleague who frequently takes credit for your hard work. You might say, I appreciate teamwork, but I need to acknowledge my contributions to our project updates. It's not it's not about confrontations, but it's but about ensuring you're treated fairly. Keep your emotion in check. When you have to deal with someone who acts if who acts as if the world owes them everything, it's frustrating, isn't it? But here's the thing, getting angry or upset doesn't help. You'll feel worse, but it won't change their behavior. Easier said than done. I know, but staying cool is like having an emotional sh shield. When you're calm, you think clearly and make better decisions. You're less angry. You're less likely to you're less likely to say something when you when you might regret later. Entitled people lose their power to push your buttons. Imagine you're in a meeting and you and Mr. Entitled interrupts and interrupts you for the upteeth time. Instead of snapping, tempering, I know, take a deep breath. You could say, I like to finish my point before you before we we discuss me. I like to finish my point before we discuss further. With a smile, it's setting a tone that says you won't be bold. We won't be bulldozed without stirring up drama. Use assertive communication. Using assertive communication is not about raising your vo voice or getting the last word and it's about standing your ground with style now here's what being assertive can look like you can use i statements i feel instead of you always or clear and direct language no beating around the bush Use an eye tone, not too soft and not too sharp. It's not being aggressive or passive. It's basically about respect. You respect yourself enough to speak up and respect them enough not to escalate the situation unproductively. By doing this, you're addressing the issue at hand and setting a Precedence for how you expect to be treated in the future. Focus on constructive communication. Let's talk about building bridges, not walls. When communicating, especially those who act entitled, constructive communication is about being solutions, about being solutions focused rather than problem assessed, right? Here's the key. Frame your discussions around improvement and collaboration. Ask open-ended questions that encourage thoughtful responses. Suggest ideas that will benefit all parties involved, not just one side, but all sides. Avoid escatory language that could lead to defensive reaction. If said, a fam if say, if say a family member dismisses your viewpoints rather than shutting down the conversation, you might respond, "I hear what you're saying. How, uh, I hear what you're saying. How can we reach a discussion? How can we reach a decision that we both happy with?" You can say that. <coughs> it's a kind of teamwork mindset, if you will. This approach invites cooperation while subtly reminding the person 
that relationship or a two-way streak. Practice empathetic listening. When you're stuck with someone who feels like they deserve the moon, sometimes what they really need is someone to listen, a real honest to goodness. A real honest to goodness. Put your phone away, kind of listening. Empathetic listening is about generally trying to gasp where they're coming from without judgment. Imagine your entire co-worker is renting again about the project deadline. Instead of tearing out, try this. Show them your ears by saying, I see this deadline is worrying you. What part is the most stressful? Give them the floor. No chiming in. No solutions. Just listen. When they're done, reflect on their words. So if I if so if we could find a way to manage the timeline, that might ease the pressure, right? By doing this, you show that you're in their corner, and who knows, they might just begin to see that you're a teammate, not in adversity. It's all about making that connection. Some sometimes a good ear is the best tool for the job. Model response, model respectful behavior. We've all heard about leading by example, right? It's it's like setting the tone for a song. Everyone follows your key. So when dealing with entitled fo- folks, be the person you want them to be. Be punctual, keep promises, and treat others kindly, even if it's as tough as a stale cookie. For instance. You're constantly respectful, even to Mr. or Mrs. Entitled. You create an environment where, where respect is just where is. You create an environment where respect is just what people do. It's contagious. It's contagious, believe me. And they might catch on and start admiring that good behavior back. If not, at least you know you're doing your part to keep things civilized. To keep things civil. So I hope this video helps you. So even though dealing with entitled people can be challenging, but you know, good tricks will always help. So that's it for this video, guys. So I hope you like, subscribe, and comment down below on my video. So if you have any questions or comments you can comment right here in this video so have a good day everyone